Hey everyone, today I'm making a Stargazer Lily. I'm using fairly thin sheet metal and today we are using aluminum. It's colored blue on one side and soft enough to be worked by hand. First thing you will need are templates. Google Stargazer Lily templates. Print and cut them out. Now that you have templates, draw them onto the surface using a permanent marker. You can see here I'm using copper sheet metal for the leaves. When you're cutting these out, make sure to remove all of the permanent marker as we don't want to have to clean it off later. Next step is texturing. I'm using a 2x4 block with a piece of plastic and leather on top of that. The piece of leather allows the sheet metal to deform the way we want it to. In order to create the texture, I'm using a quarter inch dowel. It's sharpened like a pencil, but the point is rounded over. First we'll start with the leaves. To texture a leaf, I start by drawing a line down the center. Then I'm going to flip it over and draw some lines curving out towards the tip. The petals get a similar texture one line down the middle, flip it over to the back side, and create some lines curving out towards the end. Now we're going to paint. I've picked a green on this one to give it a different look. This doesn't have to be perfect, and it doesn't have to be consistent. The more erratic you are, the more like a real flower it will look. Now we can go back and add another texture to it. We are going to add some little bumps. There are several different ways you can create the bumps. I happen to use a meat tenderizer. You'll want to create these from the back side. If you don't have a meat tenderizer handy, you can use a center punch. Notice I am using a piece of paper underneath it to help our paint from getting damaged. Once you have all of your bumps created, go back with a permanent marker and carefully mark them off. Each piece needs a hole poke through it. You can use a thumbtack. You can see I switch to an awl. It's okay to use something bigger than a thumbtack. You just need to be careful not to make the hole too large. For the next steps, you're going to need three pieces of 14 gauge copper wire, two at 16 inches long and one at 18 inches long. Not pictured, but you will also need three pieces of 18 gauge copper wire, roughly three inches long. When putting the pieces of wire into the vise, make sure your longer wire is in the middle, sticking out roughly two inches further than the other two pieces. I have a copper wire twisted around the face of the jaw to make it easier to hold the three wires. Slide the leaves on, making sure to fold over the back edge once they are in position. Take all three pieces of wire, fit them into your drill and slowly start to run it. As it starts to turn, you need to make sure your leaves are in positions you want. The main thing here is for the leaves to be tight and you to be happy with how it looks. Using a piece of 14 gauge wire as a template, take the three inch long pieces of 18 gauge wire fold them in half, and then wrap them around the 14 gauge wire. We are trying to create a loop in the middle. Next step for the stem is to turn down the two outside wires. They will be used later to create a mechanical connection. Now we'll start adding our layers. I like to use a dot of CA glue in between each one to help keep them in place. Then add your three pieces of small wire to the center wire. These will be soldered in place. 
They don't need to be perfect, just all stuck to the center stem. Using needle nose pliers, create a little circle at the top. Add some character to the rest of it by giving it some twists and turns. Take the small wires sticking out around our middle stem and shape them up and kind of squiggly every which way. Once we are happy with how they look, cut them to random lengths. Now that the center bits are done, we can move on to the pedals. What I'm doing is folding in on the middle line we created earlier and curling down on the outside. So fold in the middle, curl down the edges. Moving on to that mechanical connection, we're going to turn both of these wires up into all of our pedals and cut off any excess. Continuing the shape, curl these petals down and out. Give them all a good look, then move on to the leaves down below. They get the same kind of a fold in the middle and curl on the edges, and then roll them down. Be sure to give your stem some character as well. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I'd love to see your creations, so please share. And as always, never stop creating. See you next time.